Hey guys and welcome back to another brand new Attack on Titan video. And yes, this is pretty much the animation breakdown video that I was talking about in my latest video but unfortunately I kind of changed my mind on that because I pretty much have already talked about stuff that I would like to talk about that is related to the animation of the latest trailer of Attack on Titan. So this video will pretty much going to revolve around the CGI animation, the character drawing of some of the shots from the trailer and I'm going to also mention some of the very well animated scene that is from the latest trailer but again i'm not going to be repeating whatever i say in my last video so yeah that is very much unfortunate because if you haven't watched my last video this video will pretty much going to go like wait he did not mention this he did not mention that so yeah please do watch this video after watching my latest video if you guys don't want to miss out anything that is related to my mentioning of a particular scene that you really like so yeah without further ado let's talk about the character or the character drawing that has been shown in the latest trailer. So something about the drawing or the character expressions and frame itself, it looks incredibly well drawn. Not only it is very much according to the character design and it's very much consistent, the usage of the digital lines that has been quite overused sometime is very much being used perfectly fine here. Like this Mikasa shot, this Levi shot, this Armin shot, this Connie shot, this looks incredibly clean. Even though there are the digital lines that they have pretty much kind of overused some time are being used perfectly well this particular trailer. And judging from both of the trailer of the finale episode, I am pretty positive that the usage of this digital line will be much more smarter and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too much of an overuse of digital lines here and there. So the character drawings looks very clean clean even with the digital lines. Some people don't really like digital lines in general because it says that it is very much messy, very dirty, but that is pretty much Isayama's signature thing to do. And all of this line has always been used in the manga before and they are pretty much trying to replicate it in the same way Isayama did. But of course, sometimes they overuse it. But in, in both of the trailer that has been shown, it is very much clever usage of digital lines. So this is very much a huge W in my book. Other than that, the experience the expression looks incredibly well drawn. Every single expression here are being expressed to its finest. I really like what they're doing with the expressions and I'm pretty sure they're going to be nailing every single expressions, even all of the moments that has those type of expressions, it will be nailed perfectly fine. So I can't wait to see it because man, I just can't wait. Other than that, the smokes that has been used in this one particular peak scene is pretty much quite overused. I know peak are pretty much um, releasing the steam because she is healing herself, right? But this much amount of themes over smokes, I think it would be better if they kind of decrease the opacity of the smokes so that it doesn't really cover up peak that much. But again, logically, there should be that much amount of smokes or steams coming out of her because she is basically just healing herself. Decreasing the opacity of the smoke could definitely make the whole scene much better in my personal opinion. I really hope they can do that because according to some people, the smokes or the steam drawing are actually in 2D and are not CG visual effects. Because usually they actually use those type of um, software to generate smokes in 3D. But this time they actually drawn it in 2D. So I'm not sure if they are able to actually decrease the opacity even after they've drawn it. I hope they can because maybe this is not the final result yet. And also some of the smokes from the actual final shot of the trailer where Falco is pretty much flying towards Eren and there's a lot of fears going on uh, shooting him. If you actually look at each of the Colossal Titans very much closely, each of the smokes actually looks kind of awkward but again, this is pretty much a nitpick because people won't actually notice that if the pace of the scene is going to be that fast in the anime. But again, this is pretty much only a nitpick, but I'm pretty sure this is not the final product yet. So I think they still have the time to actually have a much more improved version in the actual episode. And for the CGI itself, of course, the movement is pretty much still the same. But what actually made the CGI looks better is the compositing. Asakawa, Shigeki Asakawa and the compositing team did an incredible job with compositing the CGI Titan. If you actually take a look at the CGI Titan, let's take an example, Reiner from the first part till the third part and now he look different in every single part in a good way. Asakawa and the team keeps finding a way to keep improving in every single part 
and redeem himself to be such a great cinematographer and a director of photography. I know some people hate him for the overusage of blur and such in part 1, but in every single part, he keeps redeeming himself and he keeps getting better and better and better. Because every time there's a new part coming out, the compositing keeps getting better. And with this finale episode coming out, I'm pretty sure this will be the, his best work in Attack on Titan yet. He is putting every single soul in this compositing and it looks incredibly well done. The compositing really saves how the CGI actually looks like. But this is a win, man. CGI movement, of course, it sometimes is going to be quite wanky and such. But again, as I've said in one of my videos, if it's fast paced, it's not going to be that noticeable. But of course, the scene shown in the trailer doesn't really look that much of a good one, but it doesn't really look that bad as well. But again, Kabaziting really saved the CGI titans for this one. So yeah, those are pretty much it. I'm sorry I can't really talk much about each of the scene and such, since I've pretty much already talked about it in my review of the trailer. I really hope this video will still get much more views, because I'm trying to melt the hell out of PV2 of Attack on Titan. Yeah, those are pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.